Ready? Okay. Ready. When you're transporting hundreds of juvenile salmon to their new home in the Coquitlam River, you move fairly quickly so that the fish can start to acclimatize right away. Are they swimming at the top end? Are they? Yeah, I'll kind of like pull this bit. During the winter, salmon fry need sheltered places like this one, where they can grow before migrating to salt water. This gives them their best shot at survival. And that's especially important at the Coquitlam River. Coquitlam First Nation has been entwined with this river's salmon for thousands of years. This river has made my community survive for all that time, has given so much to my community, my elders, my ancestors that are here. And it's one of the reasons why it's so important to me. In Tlacatum Regional Park, floodgates prevent the Coquitlam River from flooding the park. But the floodgates sometimes block young salmon trying to spend the winter in the river's off channels. Basically, fish are getting pushed further and further downstream, unable to access the floodplain habitat. And as a result, they can get pushed out into the estuary um, months before they're supposed to be there. An innovative research project is looking at ways of improving salmon fry access to the off channels that were specially created in Tlacatum Regional Park. Okay, it's like that's why this team of environmental specialists are releasing hundreds of coho fry here. The fish are hatchery raised and have tiny tags inside them, so they can be tracked when they pass through floodgates that have been fitted with specialized antennas. This is the first study to use individual fish tracking to assess juvenile salmon passage through flood control structures. One of the floodgates is a new self-regulating model. It allows fish more access to off-channel habitat while also helping to prevent flooding. The results of this project are gonna allow us to better calibrate the floodgate here. Uh, so maybe we aren't opening it frequently enough or at the wrong times. So the data from actual physical movement of fish back and forth through the floodgate will identify when conditions are optimal. Innovation drives improvement uh, if it's the right kind of innovation. And if we can prove that this is effective in controlling flood and also providing better access to off-channel habitat for fish, then we're further ahead for the fish resource in the lower mainland. Quiquitlam First Nation is a partner in this project alongside Metro Vancouver, UBC and others. These projects that we're talking about right now, they work. They are doubling fish in the Coquitlam River, and it was because we worked together. <laughs>